this is the first in a series of videos of using Moodle 2.5. First you'll see that this is a standard course that I have created for myself. It's created with all of the default topics. So I'm going to make sure that my editing is turned on. I always do that before I do anything in my course. I'm going to go down to the administrative block and I'm going to go to edit settings. First thing I can do is edit the course name. I can click in the box and change it in any way possible. At Westchester we ask our teachers to leave their last name at the end of the course. That makes it much easier for the students. We ask teachers not to change the short name of the course, but only the course full name. Teachers can also go in to the course category and they can select their subject area. Some of the menus that we're used to seeing in Moodle 1.9 are compressed in the 2.5 format. The first one that we're going to look at is course format. Many teachers like the weekly view. I, though, prefer the topic view. If you wish to change the topic view, you just go to Format, Select Topic Format. My screen is going to jump for a second while it thinks about changing it. And you just go right back down to where you were. Here's where you can also change the number of topic weeks. Then in some of the highlights here, we don't worry about the language. We don't force the language. We do want to show the gradebook for those teachers that use the gradebook function. In the files and uploads, you want to make sure that the highest number or the site limit is chosen. That means the documents that you or your students upload into the system can be that size. Some teachers like to use guest access. What that is, is that allows someone that doesn't have a network username and password to get into your course. You need to be very careful with this. By default, it's set as no guest access. If you do want parents to be able to get in without having their student's username or password, you would simply change this to yes and then you would want to put in a password. The uh, groups, there are some teachers that use groups uh, for their classes, so they would just go in here and they would click yes for the groups, and then they would be able to group later on. Role renaming. For some courses, teacher and student may not be the best way to explain the roles or to address the roles. I do have a music teacher that changed teacher to band leader and student to band member. So that's just something to know that you can do. Then we want to make sure that we save changes. And now you can see that I'm set up with topics. The other important thing when you're doing your settings is the enrollment and how students will enroll in your class. To look at this, I'm going to come again to the administration panel and I'm going to click on users. I'm going to look at enrollment methods. I want to make sure that it says student enrollment in black. If it is in gray on your computer in your class, as this one's going to be right now, that means the only way students can get in is if you put them in. And that's a lot for a teacher. 
So if we click the I, you see the little enable now across from self-enrollment. Then that this opens it up so that students can click and they get the message you're about to enroll and they click yes. Thank you for watching tutorial number one.